Yo, what's up? Another way, uh, another day, another tutorial. So, side versus Leffen yesterday, and again, there was this situation. I have whole videos on this, right? Um, but I wanna show you guys something else today. So, this is the example. Oh, one second. So, this is again the this situation. The up tilt, up tilt. Um, if you wonder why I'm recorded short, fox to short up first it's because uh, i don't have modifier so when i press up they jump but it doesn't matter we want to focus on the up tilt up tilt on shield um and i recorded slot 2 just in case the other very common uh, stuff like up tilt back and right on shield so i want to show you guys today something with instant up air out of shield very very useful stuff so usually in this situation this is very punishable, right? Uh, stomp out of knee, shield out of knee, beats that and you should all... You can go for the risk, like I'm gonna show you here. Like you can even like jump Y or X, but I'm trying to get used to C-Stick. I'm buffering C-Stick and shield to jump. So I'm trying to like C-Stick up and then like stomp for example, like this. Okay, this was a phantom. Like this for example, you can easily punish that out of shield, right? Um, this the sad thing is that obviously slot two these options lose to this one to this kind of mix up right so i was actually spending time today to check how good instant up is in this kind of situation right so let's say slot one so for instant up out of shield what you usually do is you try to jump out of shield with x or y and then c stick up this is like how usually instant up airs work. Um, at least that's how I learned them 10 years ago from Sechi. On controller he will use the palm of his head to jump with Y and then smash the palm of his head, C-Sick up. Nowadays I play on keyboard, so but still the same thing remains. Some people do instant up airs like with upwards and the gray stick. Um, it's kind of like weirdish to instant up air like that without the C-Stick because I feel like you can control the drift momentum if you instant up like this. But if you just use a C-Sig, I can control the drift momentum of my character as much as I want. Because I'm not using the gray stick for the instant up at all, right? So it can be left or right all the time. So this is very important for this kind of situation. So let's say I will try to use instant up with the old school method, like jump, epsilon, C-Sig up. It's very hard to time it because I need to jump after the hit stun. Hit stun. Because if I use jump earlier i will get stuck in shield it's very easy to get stuck here you need very good uh, experience and timing and even then your up has to be very fast it's very very difficult basically to instant up out of shield like that uh, the timing is just so intense and the up has to be quick and you might lose so i'm gonna show you guys today another thing that you can do in order to get better instant uppers and if not frame perfect instant upper so let's take a look uh, how i'm doing this so i can record falcon for example this all right first try i haven't grinded it a lot let's take a look at the inputs uh, let's take a look at how fast the upper was right so we get the up tilt now check the inputs so up tilt I'm holding C-Stick up in order to guarantee a jump out of shield. Um, as I said, with X or Y, you might get stuck in shield, you will not buffer a jump out of shield. With C-Stick up in shield, you will buffer, a, it's a C-Stick method, right? So what I'm doing is, I hold C-Stick up to buffer the jump and then I spam C-Stick up over and over again. So let's take a look at the jump. One, two, three, four. It's frame perfect. Frame perfect, instant up out of shield. Boom. So let's take a look at if this also beats the other one. Recording, slot 2. This is the up tilt back air one. This is also very annoying to deal with. So we have the inputs recorded from Falcon, up tilt. And again, our instant frame perfect up air. And it even fucked that one. Oh, ah, yeah, it beat. So you can like beat both situations with instant up out of shield if you are very, very good very fast if your upper is a little bit too slow let's say frame three or two fox is too small and your upper won't hit right so let's say i will try to 
general. Let's turn that off. So let's turn that off. Let's. I will try to get a slower up, yeah? On purpose, right? Let's do like this. Right. See, that was like slower up there that won't connect. These slower ones... See? That was a very good example. That won't connect. You basically need like frame 1 or maybe frame 2 instant up out of shield. So, with this kind of method, when I tried super fast, you can get him. How you can get him is very simple. I'm holding shield. Oops. I'm holding shield. He stick up to jump and then I spam he stick up. I don't know how practical that is on controller. Like with your thumb, you would have to smash the C stick up, 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 up. But with this kind of method, because the first C stick input is to jump, and the second one is for the up air. So you can like mash pretty much, like double tap, instant up air out of shield. But in this kind of situation, how I'm doing it, I'm just like holding C stick up and then like smashing it. Like that, see? And if you're very, very fast with this, oh my god, like this. It's I, I kind of have used I kind of have get used to it, but I think this is more lenient than trying to time your jump perfectly out of the sun and then also the C stick. Very interesting. I might give it a try in many close-up situations where you would usually not instant up there because the uppers won't connect because your opponent is too small or whatever, right? But with like this, like double tapping, I would try to get uh, muscle memory. I need to build it obviously myself, right? Like double tapping. We'll give it a try. I hope this video is uh, helpful to you. Give it also a try. Let me know if it uh, works out for you. But at least it's sort of a sort of a lenient solution. You can try to get frame perfect upper sort of shield to beat Fox in close range. Because as I said, usually you would have to rely on other mix-ups, right? Usually I like wave dash out of shield. Also here C stick in order to buffer jump, right? Like, this is what the universal solution is. But if you want to go for hard punish, then... Because I think Latin against Salt used double up air and Salt was on shield. I don't know if Salt was with this direction or this. I will upload the analysis of the set very soon. But even if you're with a back turned, um, you can like easily punish it, right? So I, I don't know what Salt is that said. I need to rewatch. But yeah, I will always get stuck when I try to jump with Y. But C stick up guarantees you the jump and then you can just uh, i don't know man blow them up basically so give me please a thumbs up if you enjoy the small tutorials that i'm doing uh, they really really help a lot to like boost the channel like thumb up subscribe and if you need anything write a comment below have a nice day as always and good luck grinding instant uppers out of shield peace